Why is it so difficult to understand someone? What makes it hard for someone to look from the perspective of another individual or someone else? The answer is quite complex yet simple. Lack of sympathy due to the lack of personal experience. It's not easy for someone to just look at someone else's perspective because sympathy doesn't necessarily come naturally to all the people out there. Jose the Tiger and the Fish is an anime film that depicts the ideology of perspective through the two characters of the story, Jose and Sineo. As I dig deeper into the story, I will be mentioning certain spoilers, so please keep that in mind before proceeding with the video. In the film, Jose and Sineo come across each other unexpectedly when Jose is caught in the middle of the air by Sineo after her wheelchair goes out of control down the hill. Sineo is invited into the household of Jose where he is offered dinner. It could be considered fate that the two met because Sineo is then offered to take care of and manage Jose, while Jose's grandmother takes a small break as it was getting harder for her due to her coming of old age. This was the perfect opportunity to make spare money as Sineo was trying to save enough money to study a abroad in Mexico to further his career as a diver and to also witness a rare fish that can only be found along the oceanic coast of Mexico. Jose and Sineo were both humans living in Japan, but with completely different lifestyles. Sineo was a typical college student in Japan who spent the majority of his time studying oceans and sea mammals as it was a part of his major and his main interest. He frequently went diving with his crew that he worked with at a nearby diving shop to explore the ocean and to further his career. On the other hand, Jose was a girl who spent almost all of her time inside or on her wheelchair due to her paralysis. I'm not too sure what the specific details are about Jose and her medical condition, but she is unable to function her muscles from her torso down, which prevented her from being able to walk. She heavily relied on crawling to get to certain areas, around the household or even outside. In comparison to Jose, Sineo had all the freedom in the world to do as he desired when it came to physical movement, since he had no disabilities that prevented him from controlling his leg. However, Jose was not like Sineo. She had no freedom to do whatever she wanted and was often prevented from leaving the house because Jose was taught that everyone in the world were like tigers. People were frequently judged by Jose to be fearsome, mean, and respectless beings. This made Jose's personality a bit rebellious because Jose wanted freedom and wanted things under her control, but the only way to do so was to disobey her grandmother at times, such as leaving the house secretly with Sineo to explore the world out there. Sineo's dream was to go diving in Mexico in order to see the rare fish that he was always admiring as a child. Like Sineo, Jose also had a dream, but her dream wasn't to necessarily go abroad to study in Mexico, but to feel the freedom of the ocean. She wanted to swim along with the sea animals while doing so in a manner that didn't have to require someone or something helping her move, such as her grandmother and the wheelchair. Jose yearned for the ability to freely move. It was as if Jose and Sineo were breathing the same air, but in completely different worlds. Simply understanding someone is extremely different when showing sympathy or feeling sympathy for someone. I mean, you can understand how someone may feel due to the problems that they are experiencing, but without going to the in-depth perspective change, you can't truly understand the pain that the other is going through. This is the lack of sympathy. One must be able to view the problem from the perspective of the other in order to truly and most faithfully reveal the true pain or hidden emotions that someone is secretly feeling in themselves. A a true and common problem that the film attempts to highlight through Jose and Sineo is the ideology revolving around sympathy. Sineo initially thinks that he understands the pain that Jose is going through and tries to lessen the burden for her by offering to take her to places without the permission of the grandmother. As he does so, he doesn't fully understand Jose, meaning he only commits to his actions because he felt bad that Jose was unable to move and to do things on her own terms. However, when Sineo gets injured in an attempt to save Jose from a potential our accident, which I'll talk about later, Sineo temporarily loses the ability to walk due to the injuries that he receives in return for saving Jose. With the injuries, his offer to Mexico that he had received slowly fades away as the administration of the school in Mexico decides that they may find a better candidate in the meantime that Sineo is recovering. This meant that Sineo was on the verge of losing his dream that he had already guaranteed to have achieved. Only then does Sineo realize how much losing the freedom to walk means, the inability to function his body the way he 
had wished was basically taking away his rights to achieve his own dream. The perspective that Suneo had before he was injured versus when he was injured was completely different from his own vision. He didn't truly understand how Joseph felt until he was placed in the position of where Joseph was when it came to physical body control. The film's lesson can be found through the comparison of Suneo's life prior to being injured versus being injured. The anime teaches us that placing yourself in the perspective of someone else is the only true way to understand how the other feels because simply understanding someone without thinking from their perspective or viewing it from their eyes is not a true way to define sympathy but rather an excuse that is nowhere close to being authentic. And although it isn't necessarily an important highlight that Sineo gets injured, they're implying that Sineo is viewing things from the perspective of Jose which is the reason why Sineo is able to better understand what Jose is feeling while also trying to figure out the complications going through his own mind. Another thing that I think the anime does a great job showing is the audience about being selfless. It's very common for people to be extremely selfish. People are born selfish and people act selfish in ways that not even think that they are. People want to be successful over others and would often put themselves before others because they feel that their success is more important than someone else's success or someone else's well-being. This is partially true because in technical terms, you don't often gain anything from someone else's success unless you're part of that success. However, the the point isn't about being successful versus someone else being successful. It's not always a good thing to be selfish. Being selfless requires devotion, mental confrontation, and the will to care for another. In the film, Jose is seen to be crossing the road after she has a small argument with Suneo. After seeing an oncoming car and with Jose's wheelchair stuck along the road, Suneo forgets about everything in his mind and pushes Jose to safety while risking himself with the car accident. Fortunately, Suneo's accident does not end up fatal, yet he is injured like mentioned previously using the ability to walk. The courage that Suneo had to take before making the decision to save Jose was immense. In fact, he did not contemplate on whether he should save Jose or not, but rather his instincts made him quickly decide that he needs to do something about it. Not many people in our reality would commit to doing such actions because technically there's a huge chance of your life having to be taken away, especially when it comes to car crashes, but that doesn't mean that people haven't done so in real life. The moral is that being selfless requires courage and you need to be able to care for people in the world other than yourself. People need other people to survive because no one in the world yearns to be lonely. Communities are what make people strong. Being selfless may require bravery, but the film teaches you that you should never be afraid to care for someone else. In fact, putting others over yourself should be the mentality that you live with. It shouldn't be the mentality that you always have, but should always be a part of you that you consider every day. I decided to watch Jose the Tiger and the Fish late at night before I went to bed on the day that the sub version was released in the USA. It was a film that I've always wanted to watch ever since I found it through a YouTube trailer back in the winter of 2020. So I had an expectation and I can say without a doubt that it definitely or if anything exceeded my expectation. I loved every aspect of the film ranging from the amazing songs that Eve had produced for the film and the beautiful animation by the Bone Studio. In my opinion, the main two theme songs that Eve made were the best part, but that could be because I'm a huge fan of Eve. But anyways, I think the storyline was very general for an anime that focused on romance, but I love the characters and just how defined each character was and the unique traits that each character had. I think the differences that both characters had were a perfect match for each other, which was why I think the romance aspect of it was well portrayed. I also really took the depths of the morals that the film wanted to convey and gave it a good long thought. That's the beautiful part about anime and this film in particular, because not not only is it an animation that we see with our eyes, but it's an animation that intends to share a message and a lesson through entertainment. And it's a moral that we can constantly think about even after the film ends, and we could always consider it in our daily lives. This film does a great job in doing so, and I'm so glad I was able to watch this film. As for concluding thoughts, if you haven't watched this film and stayed on throughout this video, I would still recommend you give it a watch even though there were so many spoilers for it. I mean, the animation, the music, and the story plots are all worth a watch, especially if you're into romance. However, if you've already watched the film and have extra time on your hands, I would recommend that you reflect on the morals that the anime intended to teach you and just give it some thought. Once you do so, make sure to comment down below what you thought and what you felt about it. But while doing so, I hope you understand now or later why Jose the Tiger and the Fish is so beautiful. Yeah,